Hey Cancer, welcome to the channel. Welcome back. If you've been here before, what's up, y'all? I hope y'all are doing well. Thank you for joining me. Let's jump into your reading, Cancer. If you have Cancer placements, this can resonate. Take what's yours, leave the rest for someone else. If it's not your story, y'all already know. Don't try to force it to fit. All right, could be past present or future energy or someone else around you. I'm picking up on, so flip the rules if you need to. Messages from Spirit for Cancer placements. What do you need to know today? Let's see. We have ancestral wisdom. I am worthy. I carry within myself the potential of all the lessons and strength of 10,000 ancestors who came before me. I will trust myself, my intuition, and my wisdom. So a lot of my water signs today have been getting cards about intuition. And you all do represent intuition. So Cancer, some of you might be feeling um, particularly connected to some ancestors right now. It could be a loved one or loved ones who recently passed. Um, <laughs> I feel compelled to flip this card over real quick, y'all. I don't know why. For someone, this month could be relevant when this person passed away, the month of May. Maybe it's recent. Maybe it's last month or someone whose birthday is in the month of May. I just felt the need to um, flip that card over. There's an ancestor, particularly one who was either born in the month of May. You lost them in the month of May. Something about the month of May could be relevant. Okay. With this person, it could be a Taurus, it could be a Gemini. Again, this is an ancestor I'm talking about, not a love, a lover. Okay. So let's get into your reading. We're going to pull tea leaf and tarot for you today. Four cards for cancer. <clears throat> Hat, you will be playing a different role. Okay. Ooh. We have pig. Beware of greed. I'm hearing growth and expansion. I'm, I'm hearing travel. We have bow. You are highly thought of. Okay, so somebody's thinking about you. In high regards. Okay. I'm taking those. I just want one. Oh my goodness. I'm going to take the one that fell on the floor. I've always been told that was very important if they fall on the floor. Hold on, y'all. Okay. So what fell on the floor was vote, money or property through an inheritance, winning or windfall. Okay. So how about y'all about to come into a lot of money? You're going to be playing a different role. So some of y'all going to be doing something completely different. You might be quitting your job here, but it says beware of greed. And then we have angel, spiritual guidance, protection from harm. Well, we have your ancestors watching over you and your angels watching over you. So your spirit guides. Okay. Some of y'all could like the crystal amethyst I just heard. I, I don't know what, where that came from. Or you may maybe you could benefit from the, the crystal amethyst. So look into that if that's something you're into. All right, so we have dogs here getting together with friends. Hmm, okay. So some celebration could be coming in. Your career here, beware of greed. Some of y'all are getting ready. That's some growth and expansion coming in for you. You might be traveling for work, getting a promotion, maybe traveling overseas even. We have someone you know is undependable and insincere. I swear to God, this card has come out five times today. You are the fifth group to get that card. Scorpio, Capricorn, Pisces, no, Aquarius. Aries, I don't know. I think those are the signs that got that card. So if you're connected to those signs, maybe this is relevant to you, that connection. So maybe someone who hasn't has dropped the ball with you. They're about to reach out to you. I just heard someone who was undependable and insincere is thinking of you. And we have tree here affairs with your family with money or property through an inheritance. So some of you are about to inherit some money through um your family, your family tree here. We have star guarantees success. All right, with spiritual guidance. So guess what? You got the star card. That's Aquarius energy. You have guaranteed success and spiritual guidance from and protection from harm. So it looks like your money is looking really, really good. What you will be playing a different role with getting together with friends. Some of y'all gonna be in a position to help your friends. You got a lot of money coming your way. Look at this. Inheritance, you literally can't make it up. Nine of Pentacles, Virgo energy. Six of Cups, a gift. This is family. This is your youth. This is your childhood. This is your inner innocence. Innocence. <laughs> your innocence. You could be inheriting a home, is what I heard. Because this card represents something that's sentimental to you, a gift. You could be inheriting a home from someone in your family here. Hmm. Are you coming into some kind of money? Something that's going to make you happy. It's got something to do with nostalgia. 
Six of Pentacles, another inheritance card. My goodness. So you can be able to help your friends. I said that you want to be in a position to be really generous to the people around you. And then it says beware of greed. And you know what I hear? Because this card can represent like generosity, right? Normally on the card, the, the person is like dropping like breadcrumbs down to these people who are begging because this can be the beggars here. So, you know, mm -hmm. it could be people around you being greedy as you get this elevation in your career, this growth and expansion. But also I would say to you not to let your money go to your head. Okay, Cancer? Okay, what's the way of greed? Okay, we got three cards. Oh, no, that's four. I can't take all of those. But I'm, I am seeing the three of pentacles, which is success. It's rewards and recognition in your career. That's Capricorn energy. That's your opposite sign. You may be connected to a Capricorn. You may be in business with a Capricorn. Dating someone at work who's a Capricorn. What's going on with um, Beware of Greed? King of Swords. Keep everything fair. Keep your standards high. Keep everything fair. Three of Cups. That's your, that's your energy, Cancer. Uh, celebrations and Ten of Cups. Bottom of the deck. Look at this. A new job, a raise, a promotion, new car, new home. Oh, we, you got some money. This is a happily ever after card. This is a card of success, domestic bliss. But this is also a card of success when it comes to your money as well. You're going to be celebrating with your family here. Some of y'all are getting a promotion. You may have a career in like law enforcement. You're an authority figure here. High standards. Hmm. You may rule over, um, like you enforce rules here. This could be like the judicial system. And then we do have pig, no disrespect to anyone in law enforcement, but you know, what do they call cops? What did they used to call them back in the day? They used to call them pigs. And so, yeah, I'm, I'm feeling like hmm, cancer. Maybe you're, maybe you're going to have a situation where you actually fall in love with someone that you work with. This person could be in law enforcement. Um, Maybe you're going to meet this person at some kind of celebration or party here. I'm seeing love and I'm seeing success at work. What's going on with you are highly thought of and someone undependable and insincere. Queen of Cups. Look at this. That's you. You gave somebody a lot of love here. Could be another Cancer Pisces or Scorpio. But look, they kept secrets from you. There were unknowns. There were things that you needed to listen to your intuition about. Look at this. Eight of Swords. This person could be in jail. The Chariot. That's you moving away from someone. Cancer energy could be another cancer. Somebody could, you couldn't depend on somebody because maybe they were trapped in another situation or they were incarcerated here. And maybe no end in sight of when they were going to get out of the situation or the prison. All right. What's the, um, somebody appreciates the love you gave them though. I feel like they do love you. I do feel like things are uncertain between you and this person right now though. They could be trapped in fear. They could be very par paranoid and fearful and unawakened to the connection. That could represent that as well. They have a lot of past traumas that haunt them and keep them from opening their eyes to just how much love is there, even though they feel love for you. We have money or property through inheritance with affairs um, with your family, queen of swords. Well, so you got the king and queen of swords. This could be a divorce settlement. This could be money that's coming through some type of situation with a counterpart because you got the counterpart right there, right? Queen of Swords is all about boundaries. Oh, yeah. This is a situation. Some of y'all, this could be some kind of alimony or child support or something here. I don't know. Some of you divorced that broke your heart, that cheated on you, put you in a third-party situation. A Libra, uh, Aquarius. Oh, wow. You got it again. Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. A lot of air, a lot of mind stuff going on here. They rule the mind. So this is a breakthrough. Some clarity. Yeah, y'all are getting over some kind of heartbreak here. Somebody could be coming as a result of a settlement with a spouse or something, I don't know. And then we have the Empress here at the bottom of the deck with the star and angel. Some of you can have a maternal figure who watches over you. Wow, we got the Queen of Wands under that. Some passionate communication can be coming in from someone who's extremely attracted to you. Maybe you have, haven't heard from this person in a while. Could be a very successful person. You could have children with this person. The Empress is all about abundance and prosperity and success. And you got the star here. I feel like all your wildest dreams are coming true here with your angels. Your angels are orchestrating this. A lot of success, a lot of victory here for you. Overcoming some heartbreak. 
I feel like you're really over it. If not, you're overcoming it. Those are your messages. Like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Peace, y'all.